All right, let's start creating our product list. We will start from UI. This is what the UI looks like when you've just created it and haven't worked on it yet. What do we see here mainly? This is the ability to create pages and a list of all pages. When you click the plus sign, a new page is automatically created, which you can rename in the future. The next important block is the widget block. Click on the plus sign. Here is a list of all the widgets currently available on the platform. Let's go on. We click on the Explorer and widget list closed and we see the API block, which allows you to create an API or JS object. But to start development, we need to begin with widgets first. So in the widgets, you can either find the one you need or use the search field. We drag and drop a widget onto the workspace by simply clicking and dragging it. You can change the size of this widget depending on what you need. You can change its position. You can place one widget inside another. Let's resize the container a bit. When you click on a widget, a menu with settings appears on the right side. Each widget has its own settings that you can change if needed. At the moment, I only want to change the border radius to round the edges and add a small shadow to it, for example like this. And let's add another widget. This is a text widget which will serve as the page heading. We resize it to the full length and change its title. We can immediately change some styles, for example, increase the text size and center align it. The next widget we'll need is a table widget to display all the created products. So let's add one more containers at the bottom. Each of these containers will be responsible for a specific CRUD operation. We can see that by default this container doesn't fit in the available space here. So we need to make it smaller. And after that, we can drag it over. I want to change its color and also add a certain border radius. Here, I have the next container. A very small one. And we also change its color. A similar border radius. We add another one for the update operation. Similarly, we change the color and add a border radius. And one last container that we'll need for the delete operation. Next, let's add headings to each block. We drag and drop a text widget. This block will be responsible for the create operation. We center align it. We change the color and perhaps increase the font size a bit more. We add the next title. This block will be responsible for retrieving data. Similarly, we change the size, center align, and change the color. This block will be responsible for updating data. We do everything similarly, center align, increase the font size. And the last block which will be responsible for deleting.
and let's also start adding the necessary widgets to our blocks. For the delete block, we'll need two input widgets. We'll resize one a bit. This will not be the product name. It will be positioned at the top and we choose the white color as well. Size, 16. We set the disabled property for this widget to be active. This is so that nothing can be changed here. We'll only display the data of the product we want to delete. And in this widget, the product ID will go. A similar position it at the top. White color. 18 font size. Let's also change the top font to 18. Next, for the update, we'll also need two input widgets. Here, similarly, it will be the product name. The position will be at the top, the text color white size. And we'll rename this widget since we'll be sending the data from it to the back end. The next input we'll need is to write the price. We choose the number type for it. We do everything else similarly. We also rename it. and we give a rating widget. For this block, we'll only need a button. We change the icon for this button. And change its color. And with just one block remaining, we can utilize hotkeys to duplicate widgets and easily rename them. The only thing left is to add a button to each block. The button will be white with slightly rounded corners and a small shadow. 
We'll also add an icon to the button. Similarly, the same color, shadow, and rounding. So, we add an icon. And the last button for deleting a product. That's it for the UI part. The remaining part is to add APIs to display the data.